morning students how are you all hope you all are doing very well so let's start our today's lecture today's lecture is all about zero do you know what is zero any idea okay if you don't have any idea i'll tell you what is zero zero means nothing nothing means nothing we don't have anything for example i have one marker in my hand if i don't have any marker in my hand it means i have zero marker zero means nothing not at all so let's do some uh, activity regarding this concept of zero you can see on my board there are so many things over here like some jars are here tree shirt uh, one plate is over here so let's see what i am going to do with all these concepts for example let read our first caption what is this caption all about how many biscuits are there in the jar you can see the jar is here you can see the jar is here so what is the caption that how many so uh, read the caption the very first caption is how many biscuits are there in the jar you can see a jar here and you can see there are some biscuits let's count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it means there are seven biscuits in this jar here you can see a box i am going to write a uh, number 7 in the box let's write seven here is another jar but this jar is empty there is nothing the caption is same how many biscuits are there in the jar can you see that there is any biscuit i can't see any can you see no if there is no any biscuits how can you see any biscuit it means there is nothing in the jar and as i have already told you that nothing means zero so i am going to write number zero in this box let's write zero so i am done with these jars let's move forward here is a plate and on this plate there are some bananas what is the caption how many bananas are there in the plate how many bananas are there in the plate let's count count with me 1 2 3 very good so how many bananas are on the plate there are three bananas what should i write over here i will write number 3 so i have written 3 because there are 3 bananas on the plate okay so what is on this plate how many bananas are there in the plate can you see any banana on this plate i am unable to see any one so it means there is no banana there is nothing on the plate and this means that i am going to write zero in this box there are zero bananas so i will write zero Okay ji let's move here and uh, what is this caption is how many apples are there on the tree you can see a tree here and there are some apples let's count the apples 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so it means that on this tree there are seven apples so i will write number 7 in this box 7 again this is an other tree and the same caption how many apples are there on the tree can you see any apple here cuz i am unable to see any apple the tree is empty so it means that there is zero apple on this tree so what i should write in the box i will write zero
Okay, let's move here. You can see a shirt. How many buttons are there on the shirt? How many buttons are there on the shirt? You can see there are some buttons. So let's count the buttons. One, two, three, four. Four on the front and one is here, one is here on the sleeves. So let's count again. One, two, three, four, five and six. There are six buttons on this shirt. So I will write number six in the box. And this shirt is plain. How many buttons are there on the shirt? There is no any single button on this shirt. So it means that this shirt has not any button. So there are zero buttons. Zero means nothing. So I am going to write zero in this box. So do you know how to count and how to write? If there are something, we will count and we will write. And if there is nothing, it means we are going to write zero. So we have done concept of zero. I hope you people have understand it very well. So after that, we are going to do this activity. And this is again count and write. So let's start. Here are some rockets. So let's count the rockets. One, two, three, four. So how many rockets are here? There are four rockets. How many rockets? Four rockets. So this is the box. And in this box, what I am going to write? I am going to write number four. Number four. Okay. So what are these? These are some balloons. So let's count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how many balloons are here? There are seven balloons. How many balloons? Seven balloons. And in this box, I will write number seven. Number seven because there are seven balloons and okay what is this these are some cars what are these these are some cars how many cars are here one two three four five and six how many cars are here there are six cars so let's write number six Okay, let's move forward and count these ducks. How many ducks are here? One, two, three, four, five. So how many ducks are here? There are five ducks. And in the box, we will write number five. Number five. Okay, the last one. Here you can see some birds. One, two three how many birds are here there are three birds so this is the activity about count and write and now we will do again another activity after that okay so let's start our next activity and this is about the count and match Earlier we have done count and write, but now we will count and match according to the numbers. So let's count first of all these stars. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. How many stars are here? There are 7 stars. Now see, where is number 7 written? Is this? No, no, no. What about this? Yes, this is number 7. So I am going to make a line to join this. So I have matched 
these stars with the number 7 cause I have 7 stars over here. Now let's count these mugs. How many mugs are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So how many mugs are here? 10 mugs. Now let's see where is the number 10 is written. Is this number 10? No. Is this number 10? No. 1, 0 makes number 10. So let's match it. Here are some ladybirds. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. There are 5 bugs here. And where is the number 5 is written? This is number 5 is written. So I will match this with the number 5. Like this. So I am only left with 1 star. So where is the 1? Here is the 1. So let's match this with the number 1. So do you understand the concept of count and match? Okay, uh, so again we are going to count and match. Uh, let's count these bananas. How many bananas are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 bananas and let's see where is the number 9 is written. Number 9 is written over here. So let's match the bananas with its number. Let's count these leaves. How many leaves are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here are 6 leaves and where is the number 6 is written? Here is the number 6 is written. So let's match. Let's count these smileys. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So where is number 4? Is it number 4? No. Is this number 4? Yes. So let's join this with the number 4. So I am left only with these footballs. How many footballs are here? 1, 2 and 3. And I am left with only with this number 3. So let's make a straight line to join this with its number. So have you learned how to count and how to uh, join with according to the numbers? In this lecture we have learned the concept of zero. Then we have learned how to count and write in the box. And now we have learned how to count and match according to the number. So hope you have learned a lot today and you have enjoyed the lecture. Inshallah we will meet you again. Allah Hafiz.